Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. Anyway, what we're gonna do is I got I have some more wishes. Um, I have enough of these. So we're gonna do another one of these, <laughs> and then maybe next time I'll do one of the ones with um, Bijou or something, just to see what happens. Anyway, let's see what we get. Uh, hopefully something good. Probably not because why would it give me something good? <laughs> but you never know. So we just we just find out. What's my four star? Oh, another stringless. I swear I have like, well, I guess Yelan's bow is getting an upgrade. Um, well, that's kind of disappointing, but you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> let me, let me upgrade her bow <laughs> because why not? Why not? Have a, have a fancier, have an even better one. Um, okay. Okay. Proceed. Okay. Well, that, that's better. Um, anyway. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Soft Island's alternate account. Oh dear. Okay. I mildly terrified, but um it's gonna be fine. <laughs> um in other general exciting news, I got Yao Yao to friendship 10. So we have Yao Yao's little banner thing. I also, like literally as I was doing the setting up thing, my teapot is now also trust rank 10. So I'm gonna have fun figuring all that out. <laughs> so yeah, we've had a lot of upgrades today. And I think my Ayaka is now like level 80 as well. So she's officially as good as Jean was. <laughs> so, so yeah. Anyway, to Sumeru. Oh, and I did manage to do that quest. Um, I have no idea which waypoint it is. I'm just gonna pick one. Um, I did manage to do that, I think it's called Antiquity Hunt. It was very complicated, <laughs> but I did manage to do it. I had to open like the Tavert interactive map on like one side of my screen and then try and figure out where the like location of the antiques was on that map and then look at my completely black map <laughs> and try and guess where it should be based on like the general shape of the thing and because on my map you can still see the statues of the Seven. So I was just there like trying to figure out exactly where in this area the antiques were. And I found them all. As I'm sure you can see, I've got some random waypoints because I found the antiques were like over here and I think one of them was over here somewhere, hence the waypoints that are down here. So I did manage to find them, but it was a bit of a bit of a mess, but um, it got found. So yeah, so yeah. <laughs> oh, hello ADRX. Good to see you, good to see you. <laughs> Um, yes, I hope you enjoy whatever this is going to be. Oh, also because I did all of that, like I actually did as much as I could. The only thing I couldn't do <laughs> is I, I just couldn't do it on hard mode. It was just too hard. I couldn't do it on hard mode. So <laughs> these three I didn't get, but everything else I got. So it means I got Farazan as well. <laughs> so she's here. But anyway, the only thing left is the quest, which is somewhere over here. Here, I think. No, not that one. Is it? No! Is it? This one? I thought I was supposed to learn about things from... Dory. This this feels like it. Oh well, we're gonna find out. I think this is the quest. But I thought we were talking to Dory, because I thought I accidentally talked to Dory and I triggered something, and then I closed it, so it untriggered it. But maybe it didn't untrigger it? I don't know. I may or may not have ruined one line of Dory's dialogue, but... Oh well. It'll be fine. <laughs> let, me, let me climb up here. I don't know if that was the right one. I guess I'm gonna find out. Oh yeah, that's the right one. <laughs> Where's the guy? Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. We can talk to him. Um. Talapis, that is the worst situation. It could just be the cold. Hopefully it's just the cold. <laughs> but otherwise, you might have to do something about that. Anyway, um, ah, you're here, sorry. I was just about to send someone to inform you. I only just finished interrogating the suspect. What did you find out? Well, lots of unexpected details, let's put it that way. The Mercs themselves were surprisingly easy to catch. We just had someone dress up as Sashin and they took the bait. But then it starts to get messy. During the interrogation, we learned that they were hired by Sashin's own child. What? Why would someone want to kidnap their own father? What's up with that? It's anybody's guess at this point. In any event, apparently the guys we caught are just the tip of the iceberg. Most of them are still snooping around outside the city. We're diverting manpower as we speak to try and round them all up. Would you like to come along? 
Now sure, let's get to the bottom. Okay. Quest. Go to the kidnapper's camp. Okay. Wait, then what's the talking to Dory thing? Did I just, like, trigger a separate quest? Oh well. Anyway, let's go find wherever this camp is. Okay, we're gonna run there. <laughs> um, do I need any help? I don't know, as in, I don't think so, because this seems to just be doing the quest. And then after this, I will be running- oh, we'll do the bosses today, because we didn't get to do them last time. And so I'm thinking, we'll do this quest, then do the bosses, and then, and then we will- I will just be running around in asthma. But since I'm just running around in asthma, I guess people could come and run around with me. Because I'm not intending to trigger any dialogue, so it should be fine. Um, so yeah, but I don't think I'm going to need anything in particular today, because hopefully nothing- well I guess we'll see if any of this involves running to some really deep place in the middle of the desert that I won't be able to do on my own, in which case I might have to retract my statement. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh dear. You know, I'm gonna wait until you've done that, and then I'm gonna <laughs> see exactly how many you did. And that way I also will <laughs> not get surprised. Okay, okay, we're gonna try and find this. It looks like I'm fairly close. We're just gonna ignore the Hill of Charles, because I don't need to deal with that. Oh gosh. Okay, maybe I should start count. Okay, we're gonna have to pause later because the hydrates have almost reached the top of the screen. <laughs> okay, I saw some rogue ones. Okay, let me. Okay, you know what? We have to pause for a sec. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. <laughs> Right, I think I should not try and drink the water while <laughs> trying to run around. Fine, okay. I'm not going to take very big sips of water because this is not going to end well, but um... <laughs> I'm just going to listen to me drinking water for a solid minute here. It's going to be really weird, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna mute that. Okay, wait, no, I think I only drank 21. <laughs> okay. That was a lot of hydrates. I didn't take very big sips because that's just a recipe for disaster. So I still have <laughs> quite a bit of water left. But um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you know, I suggest you don't receive your 2.1k seeds as hydrates. I'll be honest, it kind of depends what you want to see me do, really. <laughs> I think I added a new one. Um, that's why I drew a Paimon. If you're in the Discord, you might have seen there's a new Paimon emote. I see some people who look a little bit collapsed. I'm thinking these are probably the people I came to find. Um, anyway, I, uh, there's a new one. It's a silly voice, but I should warn you, my, my voices are genuinely terrible. Like, I think Child of Peace tried to get me to practice doing silly voices and it just did not work. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend, but I know, I think Rainbow Gecko was like, no, you got to add that one. So I added it and made it ridiculously expensive because I don't want to do it. But um, just so you know, there is a new one. There is a new one. Okay, uh, boss, we got more company. Now look, we were just doing what we were paid to do. You're punishing the wrong people here. You want the real call for it? It's this guy. He hired us to kidnap Sashin. Hmm? What happened? Who beat you all up? Wait, you mean you aren't with them? With who? Who did this? First, there was this flying brat. Didn't bother asking any questions, just started throwing punches. After that, some guy wearing green came along and interrogated us for a bit. I've got the confirmation I needed. This is the one who masterminded this whole plot. Juwani Sashin's son. 
If you have any questions for him, now's your chance to ask them. When you're done, I'm arresting them all and taking them back to the academia for further interrogation. Uh, so why did you hire people to kidnap Sashin? Uh, hmm, why do you think? 20 years ago, he upped and left to go and live a carefree life, not giving a second thought for my welfare. As if that's not bad enough already, he went and put his entire fortune in the care of the academia, along with a contract saying that one day he'd pass it all on to a genius he admired. That's my inheritance, by rights. You sent me to sit back and watch it go to someone else. If you won't give me what's mine, I'll just have to take it from him. Were you gonna... Of course, didn't he say he would be here somewhere watching the championship from the shadows? I figured I'd get some people in to nab him, then I make him change the contract, and if the academia doesn't agree to hand over the goods, I make him publicly announce that I'm his chosen genius. So you found him? I know the old fart knows how to stay hidden. I'll give him that. He's probably cooped up somewhere watching all this go on and laughing to himself. I already thought he'd gone mad 20 years ago, and who knows what a madman is truly capable of. What do you know about the diadem? Dab of dumb of knowledge? You mean that thing he donated to the academia? Well, I can tell you it's very expensive. He sold a lot of assets to purchase it back in the day. Weird things started happening after he brought it home too. For example, sometimes we'd, he we'd hear a high-pitched voice coming from the storage room. Also, before donating it to the academia, he once shut himself in that same storeroom and researched it non-stop for days. Sometimes... Something was already seriously wrong with him by that point. Nothing he did shock me. Now, what do you mean something's wrong with him? I only have a vague memory of it since I was very young at the time, but I have the impression that he went out into the desert for research and didn't return for many years. When he finally did return, he was a changed person. He would mumble incomprehensibly and write essays day and night. I asked if I could see what he'd written, but he chased me out of the room. Later, he went out somewhere and took his written essays with him. When he got back, he signed his contract with the academia. Part of me wonders whether he's already stopped being my father by that point. Perhaps the man we called Sashim was a demon from the desert who was wearing his skin. Okay, you can stop now. You're cleaning Paimon out. Uh, you can't... You can believe me or not, doesn't matter to me. I've told you all I know, but if you do see Sashim, tell him this is... Tell him this for me. Whatever it is that he's researching out there, he'll always be garbage in my eyes. You finished? In that case, come with us. Uh, finally, we caught... Well, we finally caught the guy behind all this. Thanks for providing us with the critical information. Do you still have any lingering concerns? Um, the diadem? Yeah, our hyphen's notes do mention that item. Scribe, our hyphen looked into this matter. Hmm, understood. Well, if you believe that there's been an issue with the diadem, I suggest contacting the organisers and getting them to pause the competition while we investigate. Um, that makes sense. Okay then, let's get back to the venue. We need to tell Karina what's going on. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a plot twist. I didn't know he had a son. Or did we know he had a son and I just forgot? Because that was kind of random to just leave. Like, why did, does he not like his son? Hmm. Interesting. The plot thickens. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, so where am I going? Down here, down here. Karina! Now, phew, you're finally back. Uh, where have you been? I looked everywhere for you. The third round's already started. We were out capturing some bad guys who wanted to kidnap Sashin. Uh, but that's not important right now. We think there might be something wrong with the Diadem of Knowledge and we'd like to investigate it. The Diadem? That seems unlikely. The Diadem of Knowledge has been used in every extravaganza over the last two decades, always without incident. Why has this come up now? New information has come to light. Hmm, this is pretty serious, let me think. Okay, here's the situation. The Diadem is currently in Marti... Martiama Forest. We moved it there before the third round began. In the third round, contestants have to go into the forest, find the Diadem, bring it back, and place it on the stand. The first person to do this gets four points. Wait, how are you going to do this more than once? Because surely only one person's going to- there's only one diadem, no? So they're going to have to, like, put it back? <laughs> and considering how close the scores are between our contestants, whoever wins this round is very likely to be the winner of the whole competition. As such, I suspect competition would be very fierce. You might not make it in time. But we have to give it a shot. I'll mark the diadem's location for you. Please head there immediately. Let's hope nothing happens. Alright, let's go. Ooh, okay. Something about the locator not working. Um, you just be like Blobby for 15 minutes. I cannot speak like Blobby. 
<laughs> I don't even know what that means. Um, okay, you found this. Okay. Oh, there's a hydrate. I was ready for a long time, and in the meantime... Hmm. Pretty sure I'm saying the dude's name incorrectly. You know what? Probably right. <laughs> I have no idea who you're referring to, but I wouldn't be surprised. I do say a lot of people's names incorrectly. So like, you know, <laughs> not even surprised. Oh, another hydrate. Okay. Okay. Now how am I going there? Okay, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna try and find a way out of this little forest. Because I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Apparently to a forest, um, but so I'm starting in this little jungly thing from that time we went to fight the electric, the electric plant. So I have this waypoint, and then hopefully it shouldn't be too far away from out here. We're just gonna, just gonna avoid that. Hopefully, oh no, oh no, he's found me. He's found me. <laughs> we run. We're gonna try and disappear, but unfortunately I ran out of um, stamina. So this is not good. This is the same fight. Okay, it's somewhere, somewhere over here. What is this thing? Hmm. This doesn't look good. Well, that looks suspicious. That doesn't, that doesn't look good. But we're gonna ignore it because it's, it's not relevant right now. Um, I'm supposed to be somewhere nearby. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going. It looks like I'm literally on top of it. Somewhere here. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, I, okay. We're gonna pause for two seconds because I kind of want to grab that ball. <laughs> so I'm gonna, gonna try and grab it. Um. Okay. Okay. How do I? It was that, isn't it? Okay. Oh no, it's run away. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> We're gonna go get. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave that there in case we see another one. Um. But I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't think. I don't want to accidentally try and do combat and uh, click on the click on the wrong thing. Anyway, hmm, now I'm too low. No. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, okay. Return to the finish line and observe the situation. What does that mean? Oh, did someone already take it? Okay, okay, I see. Someone already won, I guess. Um. That's not... Okay, we're just gonna run there. We're just gonna run there. Hopefully we find a waypoint as well, but um, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe yes, maybe no. We're just gonna... We're just gonna run and find out. <clears> hmm. <throat> There's a one second... Yeah, I don't... I feel like the one second timeout is for a specific thing, but I forgot what the specific thing is. <laughs> I'm sure it's written somewhere, but I don't... I don't know what it is. You'd have to figure out what got banned. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, ADRX and a doctor, probably, I mean, it's the A and then the DR, I think, is where that's come from. <laughs> um, yeah, just run. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, Rainbow Gecko's here. Hello, Rainbow Gecko. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, I run into the area. Looks like Layla has seized the diadem. But getting to the goal won't be easy. <laughs> that guy enters the fray. Competition is heating up. Oh, and here's Kabe bringing up the rear.
you. I need you to get out of my head. I am confident that you will not disappoint me. What just happened to me? Something's wrong. <laughs> well, that was suspicious. I'm at long last someone to inherit my estate and with it my research. Come, Kave, come to me, my child. And how do you know my name? Who are you? I am Sashin. Well, to be precise, I am but a fragment of Sashin's mind. Fate is a curious thing. Seeing you reminds me of another I once met, but you are made of sterner stuff than he, more cognizant of the trials and tribulations of this world. It is you who are worthy to inherit all that I once owned. We meet for the first time, children, but what I mean to say now is of utmost importance, so please pay attention and bear witness. We have all performed outstandingly in this You have all performed outstandingly in this interdarshan championship. Academia has many rare talents among its ranks, and you are the cream of the creme the creme of the creme. But if I were to choose a successor, I would choose you, Kave, not only because you were victorious, but also due to our similarities in character. Me, similar to you? Well yes, both of us have the misfortune to be idealists, and that is the source of our misery. 28 years ago, I came to the desert and lived there for 8 full years. What do you think I saw there? Alas, endless strife and slaughter. Conflict over water sources, robbing of merchant caravans, exploitation of the people, relentlessly day after day. Beyond the wall of Samuel lay a completely different world from the one I knew. The things I witnessed there tormented me greatly. I wished desperately to find a way to save them. So, did you find a way? As a Vahamana scholar, I tried to use Vahamana knowledge to find the answer. I researched history and anthropology, performed countless experiments on human nature, and even sought out the scholars living deep in the desert who call themselves the Lost Darshan. But in the end, I found that the answer I sought simply did not exist. It was not possible to simply assign blame for these transgressions to any one party, but the sins are carved into humanity's very nature. Our nature begets conflict, and conflict begets destruction. This is the inexorable truth. The aim of my research was to draw lessons from history, but what I discovered was that history offers no such guidance. Things can only ever go from bad to worse. After this realisation, I could no longer see the meaning, meaning in anything that I had ever learnt. Consumed by an overwhelming sense of emptiness, I could no longer bear to face life. And so I decided to bring my life to an end. But before I went through with it, a strange twist of fate led me to come into the possession of this diadem, which has the ability to preserve part of one's consciousness. Into it, I placed my experiences before requesting the Academia manage my estate. As I thought, the contract you signed with the Academia was in essence your will. But if you'd given up hope on this world, why did you feel the need to do this? I mentioned I had performed a great many experiments concerning human nature. You may regard this as the very last experiment of them all. The Academia has no shortage of genius talents, nurturing the brightest minds of every generation, and so, with the hands and reward to draw out the worthiest of individuals, my hope was that one day I would find one who could untangle the mystery of human nature once and for all, and help to move the world onto a better path. I see, so you desired a successor who was not only a genius, but who understood the suffering of ordinary people. Such a person would have a clearer understanding of humanity, society, and the world. did you ever consider that wealth numbs the human heart to the pain in the world? Even an idealist may be incapable of following through on your wishes after inheriting your wealth. You are highly intelligent, yet you are not the sort of person who would understand my line of thinking. To me, this is also part of the experiment, part of my investigation into human nature. Whether my success or suffers as a consequence of my research or succumbs to an indulgence in pleasure seeking, my research will have progressed. I agree with the fundamental sickness of the world. I regret the unbearable weight of its history and I lament the research that I failed to complete. And this, Carve, my dear child, is why you will be of great utility to me. You're absolutely certain that you want to give me everything you own, for me to do with as I please? I have faith in what I see in you. Now wear the diadem, Carve, and complete the journey that I could not. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, will the verdict I reach... Uh, something, something... Was he suffering, or will this newfound wealth numb your heart? I look forward to your answer. All of my research materials are sorted at a... Oh! 
I've had enough. My life's enough of a mess already. The last thing I need is more suffering. Keep your mora, I don't need it. Didn't you say that you saw a lot of people in pain? Well, if that's the case, then your wealth can go to them. I'll be honest, not what I was expecting to happen, but a bold choice, a bold choice. That's fun. Um, I guess that'll be the end of that. Kave? Are you alright? Any physical discomfort? I'm fine. Ugh. Thanks, Ignori, don't worry about me. Don't push yourself too hard. Kave? Kave may have broken the diadem, but he successfully completed the task prior to that. According to the rules, that makes him the victor of round three. Points wise, this also makes him the winner of the Interdarshan Championship. As the champion and Sashin's personally designated successor, Kaveh has obtained the rights to inherit the entirety of his estate. For the avoidance of doubt, can you confirm that it is your intention to donate all of Sashin's wealth? Like I said, he thought that the world is a bad place. Well then, let's use what he left behind to change it for the better. Rejecting the world will achieve nothing. He and I, we're not the same. Alright, as the scribe, I will make a record of this incident on file. The sages will contact you in person for details on how exactly Sashin's estate is to be used. That sounds fine. I don't know if his research findings were right, nor would I know how to finish his research for him. But what I do know is that by ending this here, no contestants will have to suffer. We won't be the last, there will be more championships to come, and countless future scholars will follow in our footsteps. Sachin's words can only cause pain, but not anymore. No one else has to hear them now. We're all scholars here. I know full well that shutting down his views like this is autocratic and arrogant. Fine by me, I'll bear that responsibility. It's the least I can do, and well, it's the only thing I can do. Now, well said. What you've expressed is a sense of justice and idealism, idealism that many aspire to, but few dare follow through with. I say this despite the fact that, in my view, it's quite ridiculous. You have long been aware of what your flaws are, but your pride alone prevents you from admitting it. Nevertheless, your perspective is well suited to appearing in a victory speech. Contestant Kave, on behalf of the organising committee, it is my honour to congratulate you on your victory. Now what, please? I don't need your ins insincere praise. Anyway, this isn't the time or place for debates. Keep your commentary focused on the competition, not my views. Congratulations, Kaveh. Also, you'll need to prepare for the award ceremony. That looks like the ceremony will be held back in the main venue. Okay! Again, not what I was expecting to happen, but, uh... That was, that was good. Ooh! Mushroom. I think I need those. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I was wrong. I, I had my heart set on Layla, and it did look for a minute there. Like, she was gonna do it. But then... <laughs> but then, right at the end, it was an all-out brawl. <laughs> and, uh, I guess Kaveh won. To be fair, I think he didn't need that money, so it's probably a good thing. <laughs> but it's too bad for Layla. Okay, this way. I don't know why I keep forgetting it's this way. It's just just over here. So we're just gonna jump down and go for there. Now, thank you all for your excellent performance, and that brings this year's Interdarshan Championship to a close. Finally, it gives me great pleasure to invite our champion Kaveh to the stage to re receive his award. Typically at this point we would crown our champion with the diadem as well as presenting them with their award. However, we have just received word that Kaveh has inherited Sashin's estate and made the decision to donate it all to charitable causes. Sashin's estate is getting donated? So much more and he gave it all up? Kaveh's generosity will give many struggling families a chance to change their lives for the better. Of course, without the diadem and prize money to present, this makes the award ceremony a little more concise than expected. Would you like to say a few words, Kave? I'm sure many of our audience, like myself, are curious to learn why you decided to give all this wealth away. I'm not entirely sure what I should say under these circumstances. I'm glad to have won, even though I'd say luck played a big part in that. As for why I want to give the more away, I don't suppose Sachin's views. I don't support Sachin's views. I don't want to take his more. With a lot of things in life, people need to experience them for themselves. We shouldn't up to be one person to make a judgment on. Not him, and not me either. Anyway, this isn't really the time and place for such weighty and complicated topics, so I guess that's all. I'll leave it there. Thanks very much. Oh, Kave, just one moment. While this is a short and sweet award ceremony, we do still have a prize to present you with. Please take this limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card. <laughs> I love it, they zoomed right in on Sino. 
Additionally, your championship, champion status will be logged in your record. This means that the sages will give priority consideration to any future project proposals you submit. All right, I'll take the card, but as a project proposal, eh, forget it. In that case, I declare the award ceremony over. Let's give our champion Kawe one last big round of applause. I still don't really get it. That sum of Mora would have been enough for me to live in luxury for my entire life. That just means you're not strange enough to understand the way that geniuses think. Come on, we've still got the whole wisdom gala to explore. Ugh, glad that's over. I think I'm quite good at giving speeches, but this one was just so tiring. Do you mean you're still exhausted from the competition? Honestly, you don't look happy at all, but whatever else happened, you're the champion, you know? Don't you think you should be proud of that? I suppose. Oh wait, Sino said he wanted the card, didn't he? And now I have it right here. So you're going to give it to him? But if it's a rare one, you should be able to make a tidy sum of more off it. Why would I do that? It's of no use to him whatsoever. I may as well just give it to him. Could you pass it on to him for me when you next see him? Well, this is a super big deal. You should do it yourself. Come on, let's go find Sino. Isn't he, like, just over there? <laughs> uh-huh, but I was going to rest for a while longer. Hey, stop pulling my hair. Oh, <laughs> she really did grab him by the hair. Oh, Paimon is so direct sometimes. Like, really, like, also, this was not very, like, how did you not see him? He was just on the bottom of the stairs. Like, we didn't have to go anywhere. Uh, what you looking at, Sino? I'm still thinking about the sash and issue. What brings you here? Well, they gave me this limited edition genius invocation card, and I figured you'd have more use for it than I. But it's a limited edition. Are you sure you want to give it to me? What else would I do with it? I have no use for it. But it's limited edition. Kave, are you in trouble? You don't have to do all this. Just tell me what's wrong and I will help. <laughs> That's not what I meant at all. Yes, I have all sorts of problems, but that has absolutely nothing to do with this card. I'll figure my own issues out by myself. All right, in that case, I accept your generosity. But now that I realize that you have no concept of its value, I cannot simply take it from you. How about this? I shall buy it from you at a fair price. Name me the price that the previous limited edition card sold for. Oh, come on. It's just one card. How much could it really be worth? In my bet is on like a million more. Yeah, one million more at the very least. What did I just say? What did I just say? Whoa, <laughs> look at my predictions. Um, how much? A million more. If you feel that's too low, I can go a little higher. Uh, one million more for a card, but we already have a whole bunch of these uh, shiny ones, don't you? I saw your deck last time we played. Not every card is as valuable, and some cards are exquisitely designed, but not rare. Huh, well I guess they must pay you plenty to be General Mahamatra if you're splashing out on things like this. But really, it's fine, I'd feel bad taking more from a friend. Don't feel bad, I save a lot, I can spare the more for this card. Now, you don't spend all your savings on your hobbies, do you? You should watch that, you know? You definitely don't want to end up borrowing money in a moment of impulsivity. Living with debt is miserable. Sounds like you're speaking from personal experience. I guess you've been through a lot. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. In that case, maybe you're the one who should be listening to your advice. In any case, I, Sino, will take this precious card and it shall join the deck of destiny. Kave, come with me in a few moments to collect the Mora. Thanks to you, I have achieved my goal for participating in this tournament. Alright, if you insist, far be it from me to refuse your courtesy any further. Well, at least I'll be able to keep on top of my bills this month. Maybe I'll even have some left over. In fact, let me treat you all to a meal later. Bring to Ignori and Kole too. Well, this is what they call all well. All's well that ends well. Paimon wonders how the other contestants are doing. Let's go check in with them, shall we? Since we're guest commentators and all. Okay. Where did these people go? Why are they so far away? Alright, we're gonna turn the there and see if we can find them. Um, okay. After I wander around, now that it's time for the Sumeru Archon quest. I think there's the Kaz- I was thinking before that, the general plan that I have in, in like, vague terms is Wander around in Azuma to like find all the things. Also, there are, like, and do all the world quests in Azuma, because there are a lot of world quests. To do and also there are like two more islands that i haven't unlocked yet so i should do that <laughs> um then i think i was gonna tackle dragon spine because i never did like just spend one stream probably running around trying to do all the quests and i think there's some like things buried around there i think there's like that isn't there something about a sword or something i don't know there was a thing that somebody told me you need to find all the plaques maybe i don't know and i didn't find them all yet to unlock something i figured we could do that and then I do have to do the chasm at some point. <laughs> and then... 
And there's so many world quests I just haven't done. Like, the story quest. So I was thinking I should do some of these as well. Because <laughs> there's like a lot of them. And some of them require other things and so on, so... Yeah. <laughs> that's something that Selene's doing. So, the general plan was run around in Azuma until it's finished. Well, until I found all the world quests. Do Dragon's Fine. Do some, like, story quests. Um, and then... And then the chasm. But I think the chasm is, like, the next, like, quest quest. I also don't know where I'm going. Like, I tried to go that way, but there's a tree in the way, so... <laughs> I might have gone too low. We're gonna have to see if I can go around the edge of the tree. Um, and if not, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was kind of hoping it was... There's a tunnel? Oh. Okay. Oh, it's like a shopping place. This is fun. Oh, everyone's just already here. I see, I see. Uh, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong taking advice from me on what to wear. Back in the day, my fashion style was considered cutting edge by everyone in the academia. Really? Well then, I'm sure, Madam Farazan, maybe you could pick out a few fashionable outfits for us. Farazan, Nilo, even Dea and Candace are here. What are you all up to? Uh, Candace and I bumped into these two while we were strolling through the streets. Madam Farazan here is pretty friendly. When she heard that we were buying clothes, she decided to give us some help. Hmm, I don't really see anything I'm familiar with. Never mind, we can purchase some textiles and make the clothes ourselves. Let's go with plain fabric as our base and embroider red and pink flowers on- Ooh, and some green leaves. Wait a sec, are you sure that's the latest style? That sounds a lot like what the older folks back home would wear. <laughs> Don't worry, this style is a timeless classic. Uh, no thanks, it's actually sounding pretty weird. Wait, 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 Madame Farazan's right, the style is a classic and used by mainstream fashion. Uh, but these days there are some other options too. If you don't mind how I- How about I pick some clothes out for everyone? It's not often that we get to meet up, especially since Candace really makes it to Sumo City. Also, I need a few places where we can get the great bargain. Sure, I'm happy to leave it to you. I'll come with you to have a look. One always has to keep on top of what the youth of today are into. Madame Farazan, come quick, she's over here. Huh? Oh, who are you? Uh, we're new in the academia. We saw all the amazing things you did during the competition. Do you have any classes we could sign up for? Um, of course I do, and you're both very welcome to join. That's great, we can't wait. Um, what's your area of your research? Precision mechanics? Um, I'm from Harvard. Huh? But you seem like an expert in machines. Wait, sorry, I remember now you were representing the Harvard Darshan in the championship. Their class is so boring though. I'm sorry, ma'am. Let me know if you run any other classes in the future. I'll be there. <laughs> oh, she straight up left. Huh, I knew it. What about you? Aren't you going to leave with your friend? I think you're amazing, Madame Farazan, and I'd like to learn from you for a while if possible. I can take the class you're teaching as an option, even though cross Darshan lessons might be a little tough to arrange. I look forward to learning from you. I see, you're a good egg child. Don't worry, study under me and I promise you will have the you will get the best teaching available. Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, I won't disturb you any further. See you in class. Oh, she's off as well. Um, I don't quite understand what happened there, but congratulations, I think. Hiko Paimon, would you two like to come and pick up some clothes? Uh, sorry, we can't. We've got a meal with Kaveh later and we have to check in with all the other contestants before then. Oh, by the way, have any of you seen Hat Guy or Layla? I don't know where Hat Guy went, we just saw Leia not too long ago though. She was hanging out with some other Taoist students, so we didn't get a chance to speak with her. Are you going to go and see what she's up to? Taoist students? They must be the ones who voted for her to enter the competition, right? She didn't end up winning, so Paimon wonders how they feel about that. Let's go take a peek. I didn't remember Paimon grabbing my hair with Dvalin, but apparently. Um, ooh, that's true. Limitation cards are incredibly expensive. That's very, <laughs> very in character. Um, okay, okay. Okay, I see, I see. Anyway, I saw one hydrate and a pasta check. <laughs> I am now sitting upright. Anyway, there is Layla. Okay, all the way over here. I'm gonna see if there's anything. I kind of, I shouldn't really explore, but I kind of want to just see if there's a. Hmm. Probably not. It seems like there's doors everywhere though. I like it. these doors actually open. <laughs> I swear, usually when I do these things. 
I see a door. Like, I'm never gonna get over the door in the Dawn Winery that, like, didn't go anywhere. And then I found out it was the outside door, it just didn't open. <laughs> and I'm never getting over that betrayal. So... Wait. Oh! Wait, what quest have I started with Dory if it's not... Okay, I remember Dory doing something, but I thought it was... Okay. Well, this might have triggered a world quest. I guess we're gonna find out. I'm happy you decided to buy information from you. Hmm? Palmer's a little curious about your exclusive information, but we need to hear the price first. If it's too expensive, don't forget it. I'll sell it to you for the fixed price of one million mora. No, that's a lot. Never mind. One million mora can buy lots and lots of tasty food. Wait a sec, let me see. Uh, Palmer is customer number 1001 for today. The original cost of the information was one million mora, but for you, the price is now free. Huh? Palmer didn't know such like existed. Wait, you're not baiting some spending, are you? Maybe the first sentence is free, but then the next sentence. If you don't want it, fine, next. Wait, forget what Paimon said, we'll listen. Dory's exclusive scoop number one, do you remember the diadem of knowledge? I remembers that only the champion was entitled to wear the diadem, it seemed very valuable. Exactly, the diadem that Sashin gave the Academia was a rather expensive antique. Yet this very diadem, after it was donated to the Academia, was lost by them once before. Huh, why didn't we hear about this? Huh, if everyone knew about this, would my information still be considered exclusive? Of course, this information doesn't come from nowhere, I've got witnesses too. There's a young fellow named Kashma from the suburbs, if you're interested in delving further, you could ask him. The past is that incident from 12 years ago. See, this feels related. Is this, is this just a world quest? Because it feels like that should be related. <laughs> Maybe it's not related. But I don't know, it just, it feels like it's directly related. <laughs> like, surely this doesn't happen when, when you don't have, like, you know? And this is also time so I guess I'm gonna do this as well apparently once I find Layla <laughs> who I was trying to find but it looks like okay no I think I remember how you have to get I think you have to go outside whichever one of these is outside the building so yes <laughs> okay I will also stretch that was a good stretch <laughs> yeah I think I did activate something but oh well um we're gonna see if I can figure out how to get to the thing. Where are you, Layla? <laughs> Layla? Oh, it's up here. I hate this thing. It really does remind me of a multi-story car park. <laughs> anyway. I think one thing, good thing, about having Ayaka as my, like, main character, in a way, right now, is she makes sprinting so much quicker. <laughs> like, I no longer have to run places. I can just sprint them. Oh. I used the wrong teleport. My bad. There was a quicker way, but that that's fine. <laughs> I think I remember being it was out that side corridor. That side corridor probably goes somewhere as well. But there's there's too much here, but we're not we're not supposed to do this. We're supposed to be going this way. Anyway. Where is Where is Layla? Layla? Okay, she's up here somewhere. Probably. Layla? Oh it keeps it keeps going. <laughs> Why does it keep going? Okay, she's got she's got to be here somewhere. Oh, she's by her booth. That makes sense. Oh, she's not by the booth. Wait, is she up there? How are you supposed to get up? Oh, up here. Oh, there she is. I'm sorry everyone, I could have done better in the third round. Oh, stop it. If you're gonna be gonna beat yourself up after doing as well as you did, how bad does that make us look, huh? Heck, it's not like any of us had the guts to enter the championship. I didn't see the whole thing, but you were the only contestant who scored points in both the first two rounds, right? I heard that you actually found the diadem first in round three. You came so close to winning the competition. I just got lucky, I think. That can't be true, you had some really stiff competition out there. Renant Ignori from Amerta, even signing the General Mata Matra, was there. You're amazing, all of you. Getting points off them is a huge achievement. The way I see it, people aren't exaggerating one bit with the nicknames they give you. You're a genuine genius. Thanks a lot, but I really don't think I qualify as a genius. In the second round, for instance, I dozed off and somehow found myself beside the device when I came to. Ah, come on, don't be so hard on yourself. We've decided we're taking you out to celebrate, and that's final. Let's go. Cheer up, Layla. The rest of the day is all about you. Looks like things are going well for Layla. This is great. We haven't seen Hat Guy since the end of the competition. Oh well, it's almost mealtime, we'd better go meet up with Kave and Sino now. Wait, so we're not gonna find Hat Guy? 
Well, luckily this is right next to a waypoint, which is very convenient. So, um... Oh! Ooh. It is the tavern. If this is the tavern that serves food, I am gonna buy the recipes, because obviously. I won't be able to do anything with them, because they're probably gonna involve local ingredients that I do not have. <laughs> but maybe some of them will just be like, meat and rice. Because I have so much meat and rice that this- and then I can use those recipes. But maybe, maybe not. We're gonna have to- <laughs> I'm gonna see if I need people- oh! You gotta talk to the chef. Um, hello friend, what will you be having today? If you can't decide, just order the Lambert fish roll. Paperweight in the tavern has just been replaced too, they're all brand new. That will be sure to cheer you up. Let me see the menu. Okay. Just gonna buy everything. <laughs> Cause I love buying things and you know, this is this is gonna be useful later. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh well. <laughs> it can't be a bad thing, is all I have to say. Um, okay. Oh I like that his thing is like a delicious version. Cause that that's nice. Anyway. Uh, oh, I don't know what these beans are, but I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of them. And I'm gonna buy these as well, because I don't have very many. I'm just gonna buy all the stuff. Because I'm low- actually no, I'm not low on crabs anyway. Mm, I'm gonna buy the crabs anyway. And I'm gonna buy the fish, because I'm always low on fish. And then, do I need any sugar? I'm gonna buy the sugar anyway, because you need sugar to make jam, and you need jam to make... What is it? Hash browns. You need jam to make the hash browns, and I love the hash browns. Um, I don't need those though. Okay, bought all the stuff. <laughs> so where am I? I think we're going upstairs. Um, oh, but I do want to see. Do you have a stove I can borrow for like two seconds to check check my new recipe? Is there a stove? No, I don't think so. Things all decorative. So I think now we just gotta climb up here. We should. Oh, yeah, checking it. Are you sure you have enough to cover this? Don't blow it all at once. Don't worry, I budgeted very carefully, and this is well within my means. Anyway, I've lost count of how many times you've treated me. It's high time I return the favour. Here you go, Paimon, over here. Oh, look at all this. Good food, here we come. I heard you went to see the other contestants. How's everyone doing? Nafarazan found herself a student, and Layla's classmates are bowled over by how well she did. We couldn't find Hat Guy though. Who knows where he's gone? Oh, hypem has gone missing in action too, huh? The one time I'm actually in a good enough mood to treat him to a nice meal, he disappears without a trace. That guy. Where the heck could he have gone? I still have questions about the note he left. But oh, whatever, he can do whatever what he wants. Now let's eat. We all share a delicious meal. You shot me a little when you hurled the diadem to the ground. On further reflection, of course, it made sense, but at the time I was expecting at least some amount of deliberation. Sasha's voice started talking to me inside my head from the moment I picked it up. I could feel his emotions too. It was a mix of despair and horror swirling around inside my mind. He bombarded me with his ideas relentlessly, like he was trying to brainwash me. He gave me a splitting headache that only got worse as he went on. Like I was saying at the time, his views are not necessarily completely without value, but if all his research does is lead to misfortune, then we're probably better off without it. If it's forbidden research which is spread in a harmful form and caused people to suffer, the mantra would step in and ban it. I think you did the right thing. I suppose another way to approach it would have been to claim that you agreed to inherit his research, but give up the research as soon as you've inherited the wealth. But that wouldn't have been your style. I won't comment on his theories or experiments, but I don't believe that he was careless in his choice of candidate. He chose you. That means he knew what he was doing. Perhaps, I just think that if you accept someone else's thinking, you should honour their wishes. Someone else's things, you should honour their wishes. That's a good thing. It means you have integrity. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. See, you get me, Kalei. It's a good thing our hyphen isn't here right now. He'd be quick to explain why you're wrong. Seems like you always include him in the conversation, even when he isn't here. Yep, no dinner with coffee is complete without a few words about our hyphen. I sense that our hyphen wasn't, has in fact been here with us all along. He's here? Where? Why didn't you tell me? He lives rent-free in each of our hearts. He lives rent- oh. <laughs> That was horrifying, it literally sent chills down my spine. Good thing you didn't say that before we started eating, that would have killed the mood in a heartbeat. Alright, enough about Hytham. Tignari, did you achieve what you wanted out of the championship? Uh, I did, in f the first round in fact. Word of mouth proved very effective. I spoke to a handful of people, they told their friends, and so on. Now a record number of people have signed up to attend the next lecture. Oh, are you free next month? You should come along, maybe even say a few words. 
about what? I don't know the first thing about anything a matter related. To play to your strengths, for instance, you could talk about the distinguishing features of rainforest architecture. Or ask everyone not to chop down too many trees the next time they're building a house. Oh well, that's no problem. Sure, I'll make time. Has everyone had enough to eat? I can order more if anyone's still hungry. Uh, I'm full, thanks. I'm on super full too. If only we could eat like this every day. Yeah, we should do this more often. Work will always be there, but seeing friends is important too. This is a good restaurant, let's definitely come here again. That's good. We should pick a few other places, backup options though. There are other good places around here too. Don't forget to invite us if you if you go. There's nothing we love more than good food. Ah, Paimon. <laughs> oh, Paimon. Oh, we love Paimon. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk to all these people because I'm curious. Um, since everyone is free, why don't we play a few matches of Genius Invocation TCG? You can show off your new limited edition card, are you? Not to show off, this is my way of thanking you for your help. Only my best friend will have the honour of seeing this card's debut play. Alright, sure, I didn't bring my deck with me though, so I'll need to borrow one. Actually, Master, I made a few I made a new one a few days back. Don't tell me you've been spending all your study hours playing cards. Like, come on, no need to be so stern. They do say that your innate interests are your best teacher, don't they? Well, that was adorable. They're good buddies. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna leave the tavern. I don't know where we're going, but it wants me to leave the tavern, so we're gonna leave the tavern. Oh, another hydrate. <sighs> this gonna be a long stream, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I have hydrated. Okay, okay. Where are we? Where are we going? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> oh. Cute. Well, it looks like this Inter Darshan Championship's a wrap. All that stuff with Sashin and the Diadem got sorted too. Have you still got anything else on your mind? I'm um, his research. Oh, right, yeah. Sashin said he'd place his research materials at somewhere beginning with A. But Kaveh smashed the diadem of knowledge before he could finish. It might be dangerous if someone finds his old research stash, right? Hey, where do you think it could be? Aru village? Holy smokes, you're right. He said he spent all the time researching in the desert, didn't he? It's very possible that that's where he'd leave all his notes. Right then, let's head off to Aru village and try our luck. This quest is longer than I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was going to be just, just quite quick, but it looks like we need to go to the village and everything. Well, the good thing is we've been there already. So I have all of my teleports already there. So we can go and um, we can go and see what happened. We still haven't seen a hat guy though, so I feel like we haven't concluded. We need to talk to hat guy. <laughs> I don't know where he's gonna be, but we need to talk to him to like finish this. Oh, you stopped midway of the quest because you got tired. You know what? Fair enough, fair enough. Um, it is quite a long quest, <laughs> but I need to, I need to know. I can't just leave it halfway. I just I need to know. Oh look, it's our Hytham. I'm probably saying his name wrong. I assume this is the guy you were talking about earlier as well. <laughs> Didn't expect to run into you here. Oh, hi then, what are you doing here? And what are you reading? Are those Sasha's note? Yes. I came across his profile while I was organizing some documents and became interested in his research. If it wasn't for that, I never would have agreed to being a commentator. I had a hunch after seeing the fragment of his mind, and sure enough, I came here and found his research. Wait, so you've heard it, read it already? Are you alright? How do you feel? I think you may have misunderstood something. The reason Sashin chose the architect to inherit his research was, the, it was that only he could really emphasize with both the calamity and the humanity that these notes seek to convey. Only one who resonates with these sentiments would suffer and begin to think of history as bleak, the present as perplexing, and the future as pessimistic. Empathy is a double-edged sword. Clearly, I am not the same sort of person as Sachin was. Empaths have many friends, and their wide social circle comes with certain social societal advantages, but this also makes it hard for them to achieve their goals. Why's that? All important things in life involve other people. As such, it's extremely difficult to live a life that causes no harm whatsoever to others. If you really want to achieve your goals, you have to be prepared to make enemies along the way. Not everyone can deal with that reality. And that reality is like the material hit, objective, heavy, negative. At the end of the day, for all those experiments, results and conclusions it's just one person's perspective. Sashins. So what are your thoughts now? You've read it. As a scholar, Sashin was without a doubt a genius. He laid the blame for the darkness in the world squarely on humanity, he experimented extensively with reliable results and drew logical conclusions. In that sense, one might say his views were correct. The people are bad and things can only get worse. All of that's true. That is not a question for me to answer. Someone else will arrive shortly, you can ask them instead. All I will say is that the world is not built on correctness alone. Sometimes being correct means nothing at all. 
So what did you, what did that line mean? Lofty ideals may provide no defense at all against nihilism, but perhaps little decisions can. By their own choice, the idealist seeks to bring happiness to all while denying themselves the same. Thus, they shall never reach even the borders of truth until they wipe away the ignorance that blinds them. I had never been able to agree with certain philosophies. Even Sachin himself struggled to comprehend the notions of sacrificing oneself for the greater good. But sadly, all viewpoints will find their supporters, and the way we see the world largely decides our fates. Alright then, I get what I I got what I came for. This research materials that you all see the cost I'll be off. Oh wait, so you came here just to read this stuff? You missed out on a big get together, you know. Get together? Ah yes, that makes sense. This is a good opportunity for that sort of thing. Guess what? Kave treated everyone this time. And I'm sure you packed up the leftovers for me. See ya. Oh, that was a bold, <laughs> bold assumption. Okay, I mean, you probably did. But, um, and there he goes. Well, it seems like he really wasn't affected by this research. He said that someone else would answer our questions. Who do you think that'll be? I hope it's Hat Guy. He's probably not. Um, it could be Hat Guy. <gasps> Nahida! And Hat Guy! Uh, Keiko Paimon, you're already here. Nahida, Owen, Hat Guy! Wait, so you asked him to take part in the championship? Yes, it was me. Are you surprised? A little bit. Okay, um, Bua, the Blessed One of Wisdom. Oh gosh, Mahakalasala Dahama. <laughs> was once a bird caged within the Academia Statue of Sarastana. Filled with curiosity about the world, she once constructed it using her imagination alone, but in the truth she prefers to experience its joys in person. Those who pursue knowledge within the city of academics honour her as the god of wisdom, and the may many beings that enjoy the blessings of nature know, has her, know her as the lord of dendro. But in a little corner within the dendro archon's heart of hearts, she'd much rather you call her Nahida. Um, did you know that there was something wrong with the diadem from the start, and if so, why didn't you switch it out for another one? Because Sachin's research is not if mistaken. He spent his entire life researching this topic, and these materials are a result of that. Uh, these are the crystallization of his wisdom. Yes, I was worried that the material might cause some disruption, but I didn't want to wipe away all his hard work researching for the truth. But instead, I had Hat Guy come here and help me keep an eye on things. You see, I think you can stop calling me that now. Why? Don't you like it? Ugh. Well, anyway, if Sachin's chosen successor hadn't been able to handle his research, or if he had brought pain to more people, he would have intervened at a suitable moment. And after all that, the person Sachin chose turned his nose up at his life's work. Pretty hilarious. I was also hoping that this could be an opportunity for you to learn how to interact with people normally, but it looks like that didn't work out. That wasn't necessary, I'm still paying you back for your help, and the last thing I need is more reasons to be indebted to you. Nahida, what did you mean by Sachin's research is not mistaken? Does that mean that you approve his research? Hmm, I'll put it this way. Instead, truth to me is like a shroom ball. Some people can only see the mushroom on the shroom ball's back, and they conclude that a shroom ball is a mushroom. Others see only the shroom ball's body, and they declare that a shroom ball is a ball. Still, others look deeper inside and determine that a shroom ball is meat. These conclusions are all correct in their own way, but none of them objectively describe the shroom ball. Someone kind of gets it, but also not really. The world is the same way, no one, not even I included, can understand it in its entirety. All of us are somewhere on the path towards truth. Within the confines of our limited knowledge, some may blindly believe in the beauty of this world, and others may focus only on its evils. In truth, the most important thing isn't what state the world is in now, but what people hope it will become. But of course, I don't mean that as a criticism or a call to action. Ultimately, my duty as the god of wisdom is to guide every form of wisdom to a place where it finds its purpose. That was a long speech, so what are you actually going to do with these research materials? Because Kaveh, as a successor of his research, does not wish to see these ideas decimated, I will seal it up. Decimated. Even though Sasha's research would, could be considered negative wisdom, it's still a building block of the truth. If someone wishes to follow in his footsteps in the future, I will not stop them. I always look forward to the day that a member of the Vahamana Darshan can not only comprehend his theories, but also find a way out from the despair as well. Hmm, Vahamana doesn't have that kind of talent. Wait, you're not intending to keep me in Vahamana long term, are you? Huh, I don't remember signing up to become a scholar. Don't you think I'm useful enough to you as a prisoner? Yeah, I'm missing a lot of context here. Oh boy, here we go again. You think so? Well, to that, I would say that in Subaru, even prisons have the right to an education. I hope that your studies in Vahamana will help you deal with your own fate and learn how best to settle old debts from your past. I review your final thesis myself. I'm expecting great things from you, Mr. Hat Guy. Ugh. Okay, I think we did it. Success! However, there is that side quest of Dory's that I accidentally triggered. 
Wait, what's this? Is this... <laughs> no, no, it's still... <laughs> Why are there so many things? I'm so confused where all these quests came from. Okay, this is gonna be fine. Um, we're gonna go to this one. I hope it's the right one. Say, is it not nihilism? Nihilism? Is it nihilism? <laughs> it could be either. I'll be honest. I'm not... <laughs> you should know that I'm terrible at pronunciation. So, yeah. I should unlock, unlock the underground chasm. I think that's sort of next in the Archon quest? The main quest, you think? I don't know. All I know is I can't talk to Leo and Catherine right now because it wants me... <laughs> it's gonna trigger a quest and I assume it's the chasm quest. Um... Oh, it's nihilism. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh well. Oh well. I guess I was bound to find out eventually. About the spoiler. Oh well. Uh, where were you while the rest of us were eating together? I don't recall being obligated to report my whereabouts to you. Did you go find another hidey hole to read in? You need to change your ways, you know. You can't survive on books alone. Surviving your meals paid for you would be harder still. You... Hmm. Whatever, it doesn't take a genius to guess what you've been up to. You were investigating Sashin, weren't you? It was obvious from your notes. However, I don't believe his research alone would have been enough to pique your interest. His way of doing things is disturbing, while you... Well, to be fair, your philosophy disgusts me too. But you and Sashin are nothing alike. I don't imagine your views intersect at all. Egoism and nihilism are not the same thing. In personal interest aside, Sashin's legacy is not entirely meaningless. He conducted experiments on a great scale and left his findings behind. Also, thanks for the compliment, but I'm actually just passing through. I didn't come here for the conversation. Well, not this one, at least. What do you mean? What topic of conversation could be more sacred among scholars than the exploration of different philosophies? Uh, well, based on what I've learned, Sachin and his disturbing way of doing things, as you put it, is very likely to have met your father 20 years ago. Where did that come from? What did you say? Uh, wait, so... No, surely that doesn't mean... Ah, so that's why he thought I looked familiar. My father must have gone into the desert due to his influence. I'm afraid so. Good thing I shashed that diadem. From now on, nothing like that will ever have to happen again. The boundaries of knowledge are ever-expanding. Someone else will inevitably pick up the same line of research one day, and Vahamana regards it as a reasonable research direction. Ah, oh, not this again. Even if you're right and people are bound to fall into the same intellectual traps, things won't necessarily go the same way again next time. You have to admit the actions of one individual don't always predict the behaviour of the group and vice versa. Take Sashin, for instance, who's quite an anomaly. And so is the one who stopped him, you. Conflicts of this nature are indeed exceptional, but it will occur again in the future. You said it yourself, the actions of one individual cannot predict the behaviour of a whole group. You know that not everyone would have chosen as you did. Even so, I stand by my views. You can forget about trying to convince me. That's fine, we've been arguing over this for years, and I don't hold any hope of your understanding. The issue we're debating has long since moved on from who's right and who's wrong. Thanks for letting me know all this. Uh, what? I said thanks for letting me know. Hey, stop acting like you didn't hear me. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? They say that earnest thanks should be given thrice, so one more time, please. <laughs> well, those two are a whole mess. Oh, they got replaced. Did they just put them in this exact spot? Did they just replace these characters with the other characters? I think they did. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day.